Hi, and welcome back to our series on allocating your financial resources. If you want to start budgeting, you're in the right place. So many people don't realize how important it is to plan your budget. Sometimes making numbers in your head may end you up in debt. Budgeting is an essential thing that should be in your life. It helps you build a healthy relationship with money. In our latest video, we learned how to keep an eye on an overall income and expenses using budget tracking templates, especially when spendings exceed income. And today we will find out how to plan a budget, adjust your expenses, use dishes to plan your finances effectively, use the SAMUS function to analyze your monthly spending and apply conditional formatting to visualize data. Let's talk about the basics first. A budget is a financial plan where you adjust your spendings according to your income for achieving your financial goals. We can present our budget as a pyramid in the following hierarchy. At the bottom, we have the fixed expenses that don't vary from month to month, and can hardly be reduced. Next go necessary expenses. These are your essential needs, then a financial goal, and at the top of the pyramid we have wants and personal expenses. Your income should be spent in the same way, from the bottom of the pyramid to the top. Let's go back to our case and adjust our spendings according to the hierarchy. First, we add another column and name it planned budget. We can copy the column with the actual tracked budget and paste it on the right to save our sum formulas and formatting. Fixed and necessary expenses cannot be reduced, so we leave them as they are. Then we set our financial goal. We advise you to start with creating an emergency fund. This money helps cover up emergency expenses and doesn't let you go into debt. The fund should cover three to six months worth of expenses. In our case, we want to transfer $200 monthly to the emergency fund. Also, we add a short-term goal, summer vacation in seven months that will cost $1,100. Now let's divide this amount by the number of months that we get before the vacation. Now we have our monthly payments. Let's stop for a moment and analyze if our income is enough to cover up these basic expenses and savings. Right now, the sum of our expenses is lower than our income. Great, we got extra money so we can allocate them to our wants. Of course, this amount is much smaller compared to the previous spendings on wants, but we still need to cut them in order to achieve our goals. We can add this money to eating out, gym, subscriptions and other categories. And don't forget that this budget is not permanent. Life is changing. Overlook your budget once every few months to make sure that it works for your goals. Now we are ready to implement our budget. Keep tracking your income and expenses daily to stay on track. You can continue adding new data for each month on the same sheet. We add a new column on the right and name it Budget January, for example. Again, I will copy the column with a planned budget, so there will be no need to enter formulas from scratch. A useful tip. If you continue tracking your expenses on the same sheet for more than a month, you can extract data for a specific period of time by using the SUMIST function. It allows us to apply multiple criteria to the range we want to sum. And inside of this function, we'll be using the date function. In combination with the SUMIST function, it allows us to get the sum only for a certain period. The main thing to remember is the sequence of entering the dates – year, month, then date. Let's say we want to get a total income for January. Enter the equal sign, sum ifs. You can see in the helping box that the first argument is the sum range. It would be the column with the income from the corresponding sheet. Then we need to enter the arguments in pairs. First goes the range that we want to test. Then goes the test itself. Our first pair of arguments would be the range with the income. Next, we are going to test the range with the dates in order to get the dates starting from January 1st. For that, we use the date function in combination with mathematical operators. We concatenate these two with an ampersand sign. Use the Shift plus 7 shortcut to get it quicker. We begin with entering a comparison operator, greater than or equals to, in quotes. Add an ampersand sign, enter the date function, and close the starting date in parentheses 2022 January 1st. The last pair of arguments will be quite the same, so we can copy the previous ones. Now we only need to correct the criterion. 
less than or equal to our ending date, the 31st of January. And then the value to match would be paycheck. We will use the reference to the cell with this word. And make sure to lock all of the ranges. So that we can copy this formula down. Finally, if you typed all of the ranges manually, don't forget to add the name of a sheet with an exclamation mark at the end from which you are transferring your data. Take notice that if the sheet name consists of several words, you need to put an apostrophe before and after the name. Now you can copy this formula down, changing the sheet name where needed. To analyze if we manage to stay within our set budget, let's add a column with the difference between our planned and actual amounts. You can monitor this column during the month to see how much you spend before the end of the month, so that you will not overcome the planned budget. The formula is pretty much obvious here. Equal sign planned amount minus actual amount. So, if you have zero here, or your number is positive, then congratulations, you've managed to stay within the set budget. Now we can visualize it and make it even more obvious by using the conditional formatting. Choose the cells that we want to format, we can select the whole column, go to Format, conditional formatting. The first rule to apply would be if the cell value is greater than or equals to zero, in other words, if we manage to stay within our budget, we want the cell to become green. Now click add another rule, choose less than zero, which means we went overboard, if it is true we want the cell to go red. Click done, there you go, now it is easy to monitor if you are managing to stay within the set budget during the month. If you see the red cell, then you need to limit the spendings on this category or borrow money from another category to cover more extra expenses. At first, you may find budgeting a little bit difficult, but ask yourself, what is your financial goal that brings you here? Maybe you want to save money for a trip or maybe just retire earlier. Each goal is worth starting budgeting, as you will be watching how your savings are growing. Start tracking a budget once a day and then, after some time, when you get used to it, it becomes a part of your daily routine. Give it a go and don't give up. I really hope that this video helps you get closer to your goal. Today, we've learned how to plan a budget using Google Sheets, adjust your spendings, calculate your income and expenses for a certain period of time by using the combination of the summit and date functions, and analyze your budget. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Wellsware Product Academy to not miss the final video of our budget series. You will learn how to visualize data in Google Sheets by creating different types of charts. See you soon!